Willie D Live. What's up, family? So we got a girl who orders some food off of Facebook, a seafood boil from another girl and got the surprise of her life. Question, family, just off the rip. Have you ever ordered food from Facebook? <laughs> family, some people get what they deserve. I mean, food from Facebook. The girl said she ordered the food and they brought it out to her. And when she opened it up, she discovered that <laughs> the food was in a shein bag. She said shein bag, but it's actually pronounced, the brand is actually pronounced shein. In any event, same results, no matter what the name is. This had to be a prank. She can't be. She got to be lying, fam. Ain't no way. But you know what? Let me back up. There is a way. You know why? Because some people are that trifling. I used to, I used to support a lot of small businesses like food trucks and stuff. And I, and I do, I still do from time to time, you know, I'm, but I'm very, very cautious these days, you know. I vet them thoroughly now because after seeing those damn videos of people spitting in food. I'm talking about people who are actually handling your food. People who are prepping your food. Having dogs come by and lick on the food and eat off the same uh, plate. People using their food, uh, using their feet to smash the food, to mix it. Digging under their arms and putting their hands into the mix and stirring it, blowing their nose like this, man, and then handling in your food. I like, good God. And having a restaurant, you know, going to a brick and mortar, don't guarantee that your food is going to be safe. But damn, it's just something about when you're dealing with people who are typically, you know, unlicensed or don't have to worry about the, what do you call those? The health inspectors coming around, you know, snooping around, writing those little citations and stuff like that. You know, uh, you, know you want to, I'm not saying don't support small business, but you got to kind of vet them. You got to kind of know what the process is like. Like, how did that food get from their prep table to your hand? inside of that container that you're looking in, into right now. How did that food get there? That is a question that all of us need answered. Damn, boy, you really do have to cook food yourself if you wanna know where it came from, if you wanna know what's been going on with your food. You damn near gotta cook it. You damn near gotta grow it yourself. You damn near gotta, you gotta grow it you know, you got to raise, if you, you're talking about if you eat meat, you got to raise animals yourself. It's bad out there, fam. The way that they raise these animals, the way that they inject them with chemicals and all kinds of stuff that they know that's going to kill us. Oh, man, it's bad. And we ain't going to even start talking about these damn DoorDash people who be eating off your, off your plate. They literally eat off your plate. They ain't even got to go to lunch or dinner because they... Take a few fries here, take a chicken wing right here, take a chicken strip over here. You know, uh, you order the double meat, all of a sudden, it's just one piece of meat on it. Yeah, man. And don't mess around and do what I did once. I was so damn hard. I don't do DoorDash, but I did do it once in my lifetime. I was in LA, I was at a hotel, Everything was closed. And I was desperate. Boy, I was hungry, so I uh yeah, I was hungry, man. I bought I bought some type of uh, Vietnamese food and 
I messed around and, and ordered a drink. And the drink was in one of those uh, plastic cups with the lid and straw. And when they brought it, I had already made my mind up that I, I messed up with the order. So I'd already made my mind up that I would not drink it. So as soon as they brought it to me, I just took it and just poured it down the sink. I don't do that. I do. Ain't no way possible I would drink something that is not sealed. Anyway, fam, uh, this is just a one cautionary tale. That's all. You know, I ain't want nothing. But what say you, fam? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.